Hello, everybody. Um, Joe Beauty 87 here. Today, we're going to do the um, pink version of the Persona Cosmetics iPad. So, this is the color theory in pink. And the other one I just did was in copper. Um, where's the brush? It was just in here. Oh, I already took it out. Okay. So, this is the palette. These are the pretty colors in it. So, I'm going to start out with the color. Color this um, burgundy right here. And dip into that. And you don't need a lot because it goes quite a ways in a short amount of time. See, look at that. Like, it just covered my whole eyelid. All I did was, like, gently do it. And it blends out really nicely, too, like I said in the first one. But, yeah, like, I'm using both of them, and then I'm going to tell y'all which um, one I like better. But the eye look in the first one, if y'all watch that video, it's bang. It's up on the YouTube channel, too, if you don't want to necessarily watch it on here. Either way, you should watch it. It's like a quick, simple eye look for you that's really easy. It doesn't take that long, and it takes me, like, forever to do eyes. So, like, trust me, the camera will tell you, like, we just shot a video, and it took me, like, I think, like, 10 or 15 minutes to do eye look. So, the fact that I can blend all this out so easily and do it so quickly, it's just like, yes. So, now, you did that, because I'm wanting people to take forever to put on eyeshadow, like... But I is like my favorite thing. But since this palette is so small and like the color story in it is so nice and perfect, it's not taking me nearly as long as it normally takes me. And I'm like proud of myself. Or maybe it's just this awesome brush because like I didn't know how the brush was going to be because you know when people normally give you brushes, they be like wonky and you know, it just be mediocre. And it's just like something they put in just to fill it in. So I guess if you're in a bind, you have something to use. But like it's not what I would recommend or prefer or say that you just guardia way to use the brush to come with stuff but i have no problem using these brushes that she included because they are just wonderful they're perfect for like packing on the color like you see and blending it out nicely and diffusing it really well so sona did that with this brush and these palettes i'm loving both the color stories in here the only thing i don't like about this one i'm using now is the fact that it's all matte and i'm not really an all matte type girl so i'm not necessarily feeling like that about it but i love the color story in this one way better than i like in the first one the first one i'm kind of like it's a little too warm and kind of boring for me. This one has a nice little mixture going on. So I prefer this one over that one. But the look I made now was bomb. And I was actually feeling I was like, child, I had me a little Beyonce moment. I was up there talking about, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, I'm feeling myself. Because I like really was. And I don't really vibe with colors like that. But the camera woman was talking about how nice it was. And she like me. She's more of like sparkly, exciting colors. But like we was both like in our feelings. Like, hold up. Sonya did what with this baby? girls so yeah i'm gonna do a look with her original palette later on down the line but um right now we're just gonna stick to these new ones that came out since these are the ones i most recently bought i bought her older one last year and that's why i was like willing to try out these this year because i was like it's gorgeous oh i'm sorry i didn't tell you i was using color fuchsia I'm just blending that like in the crease and kind of upwards. I'm trying to do a halo eye type situation since the last video I just did. A simple blend and go. I'm trying to get the halo situation going on here. I don't really venture out and do too much like halo eyes and stuff like that. I have a traditional like simple way of putting on eyeshadow. So I'm trying to like challenge myself and do a little more differently than I normally do. But you know. see how well it goes but as you can see it blends out really nicely and has a pretty good like impacted color in it so you can see the color variation whereas with other palettes i feel like sometimes the colors muddy together but hers don't seem to be doing that see you can see the pink right here you can clearly see like that burgundy over the top and it's blended together seamlessly i don't even feel like i'm gonna need to like go in and re-blend over it in order to get rid of the harsh line i'll do it just because i have it but i don't feel like it's necessary so and since there's no, um, what do you call it, um, shimmer colors in here, I'm going to just take, what brush am I going to take? I'm going to have to take this Real Techniques brush and just try to put this color pink right here all over the lid. And that's going to be like our, like, kind of accent, exciting color, if you will, like right here in the middle. Ooh, okay. That's pretty nice. <laughs> so... That's a little lighter than I expected it to be, so... There's that, but yeah, it looks good. Um, now, 
what I like about her is she doesn't put out a like whole lot of products at once and like overwhelm you like ColourPop does. And I still love ColourPop, but it's like a lot of time I'm like ColourPop, honey. Then I just pop a palette from you like twenty minutes ago. Can we not like be right back in the saddle twenty minutes later trying to buy five more? Like I do a lot of collabs. Like this is like their I think third collab with Kathleen Lights this year, and I'm like, okay, like other influencers exist. Can you like pick some of them? And like other. I don't know. I feel like they just don't have that much. Um, I mean, they have too many collabs and too much going on. I want, you know, quality, not quantity. And not like the stuff isn't quality. It's just like, it's just a lot to deal with. And I'm not necessarily always here for it because I'm like, I want to have a breath, a minute to breathe. And, like, Sona hasn't had any eyeshadow palettes come out in a while. She had, like, some highlighters come out. And I actually like the one Delmar. I really like them a lot. I think the last two videos I made on my um YouTube channel, I had used that highlighter. So, I really like her <clears throat> stuff. And it's not in, it's not a lot of, like, quality. It just mainly seems to be, like, quality. Ooh, what y'all think of these eyes? I'm kind of feeling it. I feel like I want a little more fuchsia pink in there, though. I feel like when I go to, like, blend out the edges and stuff, that it kind of sweeps away, so I keep going back in with it. But otherwise, it's the only real thing I'm seeing about this eye. Now, it looks like I might have been bruising my eye, but, you know, it's cool because it's, like, sexy bruise. I don't know. Don't judge. I know that was really random, and y'all like, what is wrong with this girl? Many things, many, many things. Um, okay, so now that we're done with the eyes, this like hot fire situation. I don't know which one to choose though. Go watch the other video, and y'all tell me which one y'all like better. I'm kind of feeling this for more, but I think I'm just a little biased because I really like pinkish, like purple type tones. But that other one is like super nice. So we're gonna put on flamingo now, which is her lip color that I felt will go good with this eye look. And I And I'm glad I'm going to put on my lip liner today, especially since this is such a light pink, I feel like, for my skin tone. But the lip liner is making it look good and work, so let's go ahead and finish the lips up. And again, like I said in the last video, like, I'm not that great in lining my lips. I mean, not lining my lips, like, putting my lipstick on. But I feel like with this um, applicator she has, it's really easy and really nice. And it's a little bit easier thing. I still think I could use work with it, but, you know. But an applicator like this is not as hard. So. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look, and I'm all about this hot fire sexiness. Yes. So like I said in the first one, you need to go get your hands on this palette if you don't have it. You need to get your hands on both of these palettes if you don't have it. Both of these are fire, and you need to own them in your life. I was thinking about putting, matter of fact, I am going to do that. I was going to put, um... The first cop, the off-white color, my inner corner. And we just going to do that now just to be super extra. Because we over here just filling ourselves like for real. So let me go ahead and do that real quick before this video times out. But, like, this just makes every eye look look a million times better. Like, like, I'm glad I own both of them. Because I'm like, this, I felt like this eye looks missing though. But it was missing that. See, it was missing this. Now, all of this just looks a million times better. And... I see why Nicole Renee Cutler recommended these. And she is one of the reasons I did buy these. Because she's like me. She's an eyeshadow snob. So, I'm like, if Nicole says it's alright, I will give it a chance before anyone else says it's alright. But, yeah. Go buy both of these. These are awesome. Sona did a great job. And I love these. Again, the lipsticks sold separately. Don't try to buy this with this and think it's going to be in this bag. I just put it in because it's convenient for me. But it's definitely worth it. Go buy both of these. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.